Hello everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Lagoon. You may notice I have a bunch more magic. I have a bunch more life. That's because I'm level 17 now after doing a lot of grinding because I need to get to level 20 before I hit the next boss. At least level 20. I also need about 3,000 gold before I got to the next town. And I did go back and get that. Even if I do have 150 hit points now, and that, you know, the 30 isn't going to be a huge chunk, it will keep me from certain death at points. But now that we've defeated Nutella, this door's open. Say hello to a desert once we step on this pad. Because we can teleport like that. Because that's how this game works. And now, if I'm not mistaken, we're about to run into enemies that fling axes all the way across the screen. Also, angry squirrels. Who move about as fast as those foxes that carry two, uh, two swords in the castle. Good grief. You don't want to get caught there. No, that, that's not a good way to spend your time. But there are two places of interest in this area. That's not a place of interest, but it is something that can hurt us. Not that I'm opposed to fighting more enemies, but, you know. Don't really want to get too beaten up here. Enemies are mean now. That's all you really need to know. And the bosses aren't going to get any more forgiving as we go here. I suppose I could be shooting magic at these things. I wonder if magic will even hurt them. Nope. I'm getting beaten up pretty good. And let's see... Nope, cannot get past these rocks. But that is the first place we should take note of. A cave. Why a cave? Because that cave will be forward progress later. And these are pretty good experience. I mean, not great, but definitely not terrible. They do pack a punch, though. I believe I have to, yeah, I have to go south here. Just have to notice that they're about to fire at you and time your jump accordingly. That's how you get past those. Not like that. That's closer. Although I've still got 
we hit pretty good there. I think it's on the other side of this rock. Much faster at killing things with thy sword than I am, the puny little fireball. So, welcome to the town of Denegal. And let's see, what are important, what are important marks here? I think the shop is like the first, let's wait to talk to people because I want new shinies. Sonic armor. And a great shield. Can't afford two of them, but you know, only need one. The armor is worth 30 points there. Shield is worth another 30 points. So we just gained 60 points of defense by spending, you know, about 3,000 gold. Okay, so. I just did that. I don't know how unique it is, but it was you but you know, useful. You're busy. No need to be rude. It's like a little bitty bubbling pond or something right there. Dwarf sir, masters making weapons. True the elders who are sword specialists, so why weren't you selling a new sword? I mean just it's a relevant question. Uh-huh. We will need the sword in the near future. The moon blade is made of moonstone. Here's an ancient book about the moon blade. We get an ancient book. Okay. Uh, Moonstone seems to be in the dwarf cave, but the entrance is blocked by rocks. If you can get in, use the book. And we get a new staff. Which will be useful. Because the sky staff allows you to put out a stronger attack. Stronger magic that I cannot show off here. Hey, look who it is. Hey, Thor. You lost your pendant. I guess. Volo, huh? So we got to go hunt down your uh, pendant that's somewhere in Volo. Okay, we will do that after we finish looking through town, ransacking the place, talking to all the peoples. A gorgeous lady in the desert who looked a little scary. Okay. Yeah, that's actually not a bad, uh, Bad philosophy. Slowing down every now and then to avoid killing yourself. Princess Felicia. Nope, have not seen it. You want to see it before you die? Well, if I manage to find one in the cave I can't get into yet. I'll let you take a look. Just don't try to take it. 
women and children should never go near the cave. I don't want to go near it then. Even if there is a moonstone in it. Why would I want to go in there? And I believe that's pretty much all this town has to offer at the moment. I did talk to you, right? Yeah. So we need to go back to Volo. I don't believe there's a fast method of travel. So we're just going to have to start walking. Shall we? New armor and new shield, though. Even though I kind of like the gold armor look better. Sheesh. Uh, okay, my hit points are restored now. Good time to show that off. How many? About six. Worth it. Still need about 500 experience to get the next level. Can I even hurt you? No. There. I wouldn't be stopping just to kill random monsters, but. I didn't need the experience. Ah. Wish that worked. But anyway. We know the route. We just got to get all the way back to the little elf town. Which means that just in case, since I'm gonna jump over gaps going south, I'd rather not risk it. Luckily, we don't have to navigate the uh, castle again. Luckily, we get to just skip right past the castle. We don't have to go all the way through it. That would be a little more annoying than I would be willing to put up with at times. Even if the music is still fantastic. Here we go. We just had to talk to the right person. Go ahead and recharge my magic here since it's A, free here, and B, recharges very quickly. So now we have to go back. And hopefully Thor will give us, you know, something decent going after his pendant, since he can't be bothered to walk all the way down here by himself. Jerks. Seriously, that's kind of rude. Wait until I'm busy with one enemy before you start attacking me? 
from the side. Eh, didn't hit anything. Oh well. It is kind of neat that that thing splits three ways. Although, I'd rather hit them with the full force of the bigger fireball, but, you know, that's just me. Yeah, I definitely miss the other armor look. I'd switch back, but, you know, 30 points of defense is 30 points of defense. So now... I forget what Thor gives you for doing this. I mean, I know what the purpose of what he gives you is. But I can't remember exactly what the item... Ah. Didn't notice you were charging up for some reason. I gotta learn to swing faster. And by swing faster, I mean, you know, just kind of, uh... Earlier. Let's see, yeah, I need to go this way. He kind of went a little crazy with the magic there. He threw out a lot of little spells there. He's hard to hit. Why is he so hard to hit? I mean, it's easy with the magic, but with the sword he bounces so quickly. Trouble timing that. Okay, refill. Okay, Thor, we have your pendant. Yeah, there you are. So let's see. There. Cool. Powerful mirror. A mirror? Really? Didn't know you were that vain, man. Oh, it smashes big rocks. A piece of glass shatters big rocks. I'm missing something here. I am missing something. How does a piece of glass shatter big rocks? I mean, power, it's a mirror. I honestly don't understand that. I think that's why I didn't remember what he actually gave you. Hmm. Excuse me for a second, folks. Sorry about that. My body decided to make me really think it needed to sneeze. And it did not. Cat disagrees with me, apparently. I don't know if that picked up on the mic, but, you know, the cat just looked at me and 
let out a fairly cranky sounding meow. And she is still looking at me. Probably wanting me to shut up. Go away. I guess they are invulnerable when they're casting magic. Not a surprise. Kind of like those storm clouds we ran into in the uh, Phillips Castle. Full hit points, full hit points. At least I'm not taking much damage here. Probably due to the fact that I boosted myself up to level 17. I need three more, three more levels to uh, actually be ready for the next boss. Go away. something to say to me? Not anymore, you don't. Know. Okay, let's see this work. It does the job. I don't understand how, but it does the job. Neat. The floor has holes with lava in it. And just to test the theory, before I call this a video. Yep, we can fall right in them and die instantly. That's good to know. Especially since we get pushed back into these holes. But anyway, I think that will do it for this episode of Let's Play Lagoon. Thank you for joining me, everyone. We will be back next time with, well... The Dwarf Cave, and whatever lies within. Hopefully we finally get our first ring very soon. But until then, take care folks. See you later.